Hey guys, welcome back, and I'm really excited by today's video. I'm really excited to do this. Um, for those of you that might pay some attention, um, I do music. I do a bit of music. Um, I've already released two records, um, one back in 2000, uh, 2015 called The Love Trail. And then a second one um, last year, last September, called Loop Section. And uh, this year, I'm glad to be doing a third one. So you might have seen me accidentally put this in several times. Because I've accidentally switched to this instead of switching to the fade out. But that's about to change. Because now I've got another one that I'm going to be using instead. Fail. The new EP. <laughs> uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, because it's got a similar kind of style to Loop Section for art. And I picked that deliberately. I was trying to figure out what I was going to exactly do. And then I thought, why not just do what I did with, uh, with Loop Section and kind of put something in in white and then have a shadow on it. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it, Fudge? She thinks it's cool. Now, Fail is probably some of the most fun I've had making music because, like Loop Section, it does something completely different to what you'd expect. But then, being me, I like to do something a little bit different. So, Fail, as a record, is all about automation. Now, loop section kind of was. Loop section was about looping things. And on most of the tracks, having Apple loops and messing around with those a little bit. But fail is about messing around with drummer tracks. So I use Logic Pro to, uh, to generate all of my music. Well, I have done since I made Love Trail. Afterwards, of course, because Love Trail was made a little dusty, and you can tell by the way it sounds and the fact that there's no metronome. Well, there is in Oblivious Dust, but I, I completely digress. Um, but one of the things I've loved about having Logic Pro is I don't have to actually play the drums, I can record it in MIDI. But there are also drummer tracks where an AI will generate something. And there we go. Okay, this matches the BPM. It does this thing that you want to do, and this thing. It meets certain parameters you set, and you just turn the dials up and down. And then you've got certain ones do certain things as well, which is pretty cool. Um, can't remember how many drummers there are in Logic Pro, but there are there are a fair few. So what I did was, I think it was probably about a year ago, I stuck one drummer in and a couple more to a track then kind of made a best of out of some of the bits they were playing and then transposed it onto uh onto kind of I think it was called bass waves or something. It was a synth. And that actually created what's the final track on the uh on the record, um ensemble. And that was really fun to do. Just I, I thought it was best to have that one at an end because it had that kind of feeling to me. Um, at the same time, I've used some of these tracks before in my own stuff. So um, the first track, Curtis, has been used before in several of my videos, as has track two, Kyle. And now this is something that's interesting as well because all of the drummers have got names. So... Every single track, with the exception of Ensemble, is named after the uh, drummer that I've used. So these aren't actually named after people that I know, because I know I know people with pretty much all of the names on the list. Um, all of these are named after the drummers. And I thought that would be pretty cool to do, because it would be better than going, OK, this one, I used this drummer, and having to remember which drums it was. 
also each drummer has a particular kind of style so some of them are r&b some of them are kind of more hip-hop some of them are supposed to be alternative some of them are supposed to be rock some of them are supposed to be indie some of them are supposed to be songwriter which leads to some interesting things as well this record also has i think it's probably the first song that i've done that isn't in 4-4 um Darcy, the uh, penultimate track, is in 3-4. And <laughs> I was like, I've got to get one in that's in 3-4. It's the shortest track. Um, but it was so much fun to go, OK, I've now got something in 3-4 to add to my repertoire. Um, Fail will be out next week. It'll be released on the 11th. And I'm really looking forward to hearing what people think, hearing what people hear. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.